I'd like to thank everyone up here and the uh, Harris and Biden voters for helping to elect Trump. Uh, Trump won 16 out of 27 city precincts, which is a clear majority of over 50% of Springfield's uh, voting population. Some people claim we live in a democracy. Well, this democracy voted no to your pro-Haitian agenda and yes to the Constitution that you swore an oath to, the oath that you failed to abide by. I saw a video of a Haitian involved in an accident with no license plates on his car. The police officer allowed him to drive away from the scene. I see cars on the roads every day that are driving without license plates. And I would like to know who is giving these people permission to do that. Who gave the orders to allow Haitians to drive all over town without license plates? Is this how a DEI police chief performs their sworn duties? I would also like to know how a Haitian immigrant with multiple felony crimes on his record can acquire a gun and then try to smuggle that gun into our courthouse. If one of us regular people tried to walk into the courthouse with a gun, we would be in jail and paying thousands of dollars for an attorney to resolve the issue. Except we wouldn't do that stupid kind of stuff in the first place. We're tired of the double standards imposed by you and the other Bolsheviks in this city that made us into second-class citizens one step below Haitians. We voted against all that, and your time and power is running out. You have no one to blame but yourselves and the Haitians who couldn't seem to keep themselves from rushing here with their hands out to take anything that wasn't nailed down. You made this mess. Now tell us how you're going to clean it up, or are you going to let Trump do your jobs for you? Thank you. First, you chose to ignore us, hoping that we would go away. Then you and others set out to bully us into silence with unsubstantiated accusations of racism, which did not exist. You and others tried to silence us by limiting us to our three minutes every two weeks. Sit down, your three minutes is up, shut up. Eliminating any discussion on your government social media websites, which I believe is in violation of the law. It not only creates an echo chamber for you, but it also fosters distrust in the rest of us. On top of this and overriding everything else aforementioned, the faith community, some of which are NGOs profiting off of this uh, influx, tried to shame us into silence and accept us by questioning our own faith and our convictions. While you ignored us, bullied us, shamed us, and tried to silence us, we persisted. You treated us as expendable garbage long before Biden made his statement. We knew what was happening here was wrong. And now we know for certain that America thinks it was wrong too. You took all of us for granted. You thought and still think that we Americans, citizens, are not worthy. That we do not fill your workforce requirements. You severely underestimated our collective courage and resolve. All who have spoken and will speak love our city, love our county, love our state, and more specifically, love our nation. To be clear, there is a new sheriff in town. It is not one individual, but a collective, we the people. It will no longer be business as usual in Springfield, Ohio, nor in Clark County. I can guarantee it. I want to thank you, Rob Brew, for denying the citizens of this city and county a visit from the incoming president of the United States, Donald John Trump. I realize you did it in an effort to hide from America the absolute destruction and division you have put the city through because of your reckless policy of encouraging mass migration rooted in your arrogance, greed, and misdirected self-loathing. It seems, it might seem I'm being sarcastic, but I thank you for uh, blocking the president from this campaign stop. Um, it certainly offended two thirds of the voters in this county. Um, and it cost local hotels, restaurants, gas stations, food truck vendors, and other small businesses hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars of business. It'd be interesting to do a study of what kind of business you cost us this year. Um, it was just another opportunity you denied your own people to hide the horrible job you've done as mayor and protect yourself from accountability. Uh, but despite your most hateful, worst, self-centered efforts, uh, you accidentally helped save this nation from another four years of rule by your ideological allies under a Harris administration. Your insanely destructive policies to encourage mass migration, protect the perpetrators and the migrants from legal accountability for their many crimes, your efforts to hide that from the public got citizens to come to this forum on a regular basis to voice their dissent. And while you and your cronies on either side 
of those to ignore us, bully us, and mock us, the rest of the nation listen. They realize that the crimes you are condoning in this community are happening all over the nation. Uh, wherever crooked politicians team up with greedy business owners and misguided church-based nonprofits to steal hundreds of millions of dollars from future generations to line your pockets and pad your budget. Uh, so the people of America rose up to vote in a president, a Senate, and a House of Representatives that have promised to stop people like you. In the meantime, unfortunately, we're still stuck with you and your parasitic relationship with your own citizens and neighboring communities and school districts. Hope America returns the favor and steps in to help stop you from di damaging and dividing this community any further. And you could help. You could start investigating the complaints you've ignored for years. You could dismiss the civil servants who've abused their public offices to pursue personal interest. You could start enforcing traffic law, housing code, and fire code. Thank you. Your time's up. Your time's up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, if you take a three minute, uh, actually, we'll do comments from commissioners and then uh, let the city answer. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>